Brexit is depressing. Have bank betcha stage a coup. Why different versions of Brexit? Exiting with WTO rules seems more true to the vote than any other option. Yeah, Brexit is depressing, but look, I predicted this. I warned you that they would mess it up. Brexit was always, was always problematic. Because why are you Brexiting? What is the goal? What is the purpose? Is there agreement about the goal? Is there agreement about the purpose? So the real question is, what's, what was the purpose of Brexit? And clearly, there's no agreement about that. Now, if the purpose of Brexit was to establish a, a, a fantastic free market economy uh, and establish free trade on this island called England and to get rid of the regulations, the controls, the limitations of the European Union, but to focus on freedom, on the British Isle, then that is, that would have been fantastic. And if there'd been agreement on that, then they probably would have just gone with a hard Brexit immediately after Brexiting, lower tariffs to zero, eliminated regulation, and told the European Union to go to hell. If they wanted to trade with the Britain, they would reduce tariffs as well. If not, then not. And then gone to the world and said, here we are, we'll open a business, let's deal. But that's not what happened, right? That's not what happened. You had a referendum, a non-binding referendum, but one that the government took seriously and decided to act on. The referendum, people voted in the referendum for a variety of different reasons. It, it was leave Brexit, but it wasn't clear why. So some people voted because they didn't want immigrants. And, and you might think it's it, Muslim immigrants, but Speaking to people there, most of the people didn't want Polish immigrants because they didn't want competition for their jobs. So a lot of people voted because they didn't want immigrants. Some people voted because they wanted something called sovereignty. You know, this is like, you ever see Braveheart, the movie Braveheart? I mean, the things about that movie I like a lot. I think it's a clever movie in many respects, but the thing about it that I hate, and one of them is that people think it's a pro-freedom movie. But the movie has nothing to do with freedom. Nothing. When Mel Gibson yells freedom and they all rally around him, freedom, what are they talking about? It's not the freedom I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I mean, which is freedom from coercion, the ability to live free of coercion, the absence of coercion. No, to them freedom means we want a Scottish king, not an English king. We want to be ruled by somebody who is Scottish, not English, as if there's a difference. We want to be ruled by somebody who has, I don't know, 77% of our genetic makeup instead of 80, instead of 53. I, you know, the whole thing is stupid, right? We want to be ruled by a local king, not a king far away. That's not freedom. That has nothing to do with freedom. That's about independence from a crown by establishing your own crown. So what's the validity of that? Crown is a crown is a crown. Authoritarianism is as authoritarianism is, is authoritarianism. Lack of freedom is lack of freedom is lack of freedom. Why does it matter if it's imposed by your own kind or by somebody from 200 miles away in England? Evil England. Drives me crazy. So Brexit is about sovereignty. We want to be ruled by people in London, not ruled by people in Brussels. But if you're being ruled, if they're going to do the same things to you, or maybe even worse, who knows, then what is the value of it? So, I mean, I was mildly for Brexit, only in that it gave Britain the opportunity to become better. It gave Britain the opportunity to do the right thing. Because I think the European Union is a mess, is a disaster, is moving in the wrong direction, and is ultimately going to take down all of Europe. Right? So you want to leave. You want to leave. To 
have the opportunity to become more free than the European Union. But that's not what's going to happen. And I said this when it passed. I said, I'm for it if they do the right thing. And the probability of they were doing the right thing is very close to zero. Because the people who voted for it were not voting for anything coherent, for not one policy. If they were voting for freedom and some kind of freedom manifesto, and part of that freedom manifesto included, included leaving the European Union, but only as part of a bigger commitment to true freedom, let's say economic freedom, then yeah, great, I'd be rallying for Brexit, but it wasn't. Potentially, it's quite the opposite.